The battle for dominance among video game console makers is heating up with companies like Microsoft taking a multi-purpose approach to winning over customers. Joining me now is Asia's digital editor, Adam Nashberg. Okay, Adam, so consoles like the Xbox no longer only for video games anymore, right? Right, um, and that's a good thing because consoles like the Xbox and the PlayStation 3 are getting towards the end of their serviceable life. They're seven years old, so they're due for a refresh sometime, probably later this year, early next year. We're not 100% sure, but what really counts is what they're delivering over the box besides the games. Okay, so what what are they delivering? I mean, what really, I'm not, I don't have an Xbox, so what can an Xbox do um, aside from playing video games? Well, these days it can do a lot of things. Um, it can do everything from bringing you Netflix to Hulu videos. Um, there's all kinds of, uh, think of the Xbox more like a Roxio or a TiVo, where they're bringing you services now, not just games. You can even download content for your games. Okay, so wh to what extent will these companies actually produce content themselves? Well, I don't know how much about uh, how much content they're going to create themselves. They may finance that from uh, production companies, but essentially they're using a lot of money. I mean, you mentioned this earlier. This is about a battle. It's a battle for the hearts, minds, and, and butts on the couch, really. I mean, what you want is you want you, people who are sitting in front of the TV anyway, who are invested in that console and your system to get everything they possibly could desire. They can go shopping there. Um, you know, they, they might use Amazon services or they might watch movies. They might purchase um, downloadable content or apps. I mean, it really is all about getting the customers. Okay, so, but why, I mean, aren't video games alone profitable enough? I mean, why, why does it make sense that, that companies um, such as Microsoft uh, want to, you know, to diversify in this way? It, it makes a lot of sense for Microsoft to diversify. I don't know exactly what Microsoft or any company is thinking, but, you know, the battle that we've all been talking about is on, about these devices, the consoles, the iPads, the, the tablet computers, the smartphones. It's really not about that. It's about the content. And what's not obvious right now, because there's been such a rush to flood the market with devices, and that will probably continue for a while, um, it's not clear now. Game companies are becoming something else. They're becoming content providers. And chip companies like NVIDIA are producing, uh, as we saw from a Don Clark story, uh, that they're producing gaming devices. Um, we're not sure. There's a lot of verticalization going on. And what you're seeing is today's game company might end up becoming tomorrow's uh, content company or movie provi provision company. I mean, it's really not obvious how this is all going to shake out right now. Okay, and it does really seem like things are changing quickly. Is there any um, one particular person out there who's really doing it better than another, or would you say this is really new territory that no one can tell yet? It's a very good question. Um, I think if you look at it on an installed customer base, some of the numbers that I'll give you are a little bit old right now, but uh, you know, the last time I wrote about this, Apple, for example, and its gaming center had 160 million people as, uh, with registered active accounts. Microsoft, for its Xbox Live, had about um, uh, 40, and, and, and Sony, for its uh, network, the PlayStation network, had about 90 million. I mean, that's, when you look at this, uh, what, you're, what you're thinking is, wow, that's a lot of people. Um, but numbers are growing, numbers are, are plateauing for some companies, and I think really the race to get the most active customers is what we're talking about. I'd say the names that you've heard of, uh, including the three I mentioned, plus you have to toss Google in there, and now you also have to talk about NVIDIA as a player in that market. Okay, and certainly for tiger moms such as myself who will not let their kids have a video game console, I'm, uh, I'm leaving them behind, it seems like. Indeed. <laughs> um, and they just, Nintendo, by the way, just came out with its new console. That has the same functionality, the same provides the same services as the original Wii did, the Wii U it's called. Um, the issue there, interestingly, is there just aren't that many games yet because the console is so new, built specifically for the Wii U to take advantage of its new functionality. Right, certainly an area that's changing quickly. Thanks very much, Adam Najberg, Asia Digital Editor. For more on that story, you could go to WSJ.com. I'm Deborah Khan. Thanks for watching.